Hey guys, and welcome back to the School Finesse Podcast. I'm your host, Amen. Final exams, final exams, final exams. I know they're on your mind, they're on your schedule, they're on mine too. In today's episode, we'll go over some serious study tips that you probably don't use often enough. If you want to do well on your final exams, use these tips and suggestions as you prepare. Tune in for the next two episodes because we'll go over more tips like what to do if you're stuck on true, false, or multiple choice questions. When in doubt, choose C. Is that a correct rule to follow? I'll tell you more about that common suggestion in next week's episode. Today, we have study tips, and then later, I'll tell you about five great but maybe unusual final week traditions at a few colleges and universities. I'll have more on that later on in the news fix. All right, final exam study tips. These tips are brought to you by me, your host. Remember, I'm walking a similar path. I'm a senior at Towson University, and before Towson, I was a student at Community College of Baltimore County. I've been a college student for more than eight semesters and have taken quite a few final exams, so I have five tips for you. Number one, create a master to-do list. Figure out the dates of your exams so you know when to study for each. Don't spend half this week studying for your December 15th exams when you have one coming up sooner on December 11th. Number two, create mnemonic devices like rhymes, acronyms, or songs to help you remember information. Don't dismiss this tip thinking that it's elementary. This is my number one strategy for remembering all the class content. If you have a group of four words and the words begin with L, C, P, and A, it might be a little easier to remember the words if you study them in an order that you can remember. Reorder L, C, P, and A to C, L, A, P. Then you have the word clap, a word that you can remember when you're thinking of a certain group of words. I remember on Friday I had an exam and a lady sitting next to me told me that she found a way to remember the terms and she said she made up a little song. Here's the deal. When you're studying, it's not about what seems corny or elementary. It's all about helping yourself to remember everything that you've learned. When that exam is in front of you, will you remember the lecture slides or a simple song that you put together? Number three. If you're studying with flashcards, make sure you study the front and back of the card. Show yourself the word and figure out the sentence and then do the opposite. Show the sentence and figure out the word. This might be different for each student if your professor tells you the format of the exam or not. Hopefully they tell you so you can focus your studying, but if not, study both formats. Number four, if you have a study partner, make a practice test for each other. You've been testing yourself and you've trained yourself to answer your questions. But when you take your exam, you're not creating the questions, someone else will. So test yourself by answering questions from someone else. And finally, number five, break up your studying. You have your day before you and you have about an hour, 30 minutes in between classes or tasks. I mean, tasks like meeting a group or a professor, going to an event or working. If you're studying for a long exam, try studying during that one hour, 30 minute gap, then go to your event, come back later and study for another hour, 30 minutes. After you've broken up your study a little, now you can focus on a major study. Maybe that's four hours or five hours straight for you. Be sure to take breaks. It's easier to get seven hours of studying done if you aren't doing it in one sitting. And also, if it's beneficial, breaking up your studying time allows you to change environments if you choose. There you have it, five tips to help you study for your final exams. These tips were brought to you by me, a senior at Towson University. Before our news fix, I have a fun fact about Towson. Did you know that Towson University is opening a new facility in Hartford County, Maryland? The facility will contain more than 50 teaching labs, 30 research labs, and 50 classrooms supporting mentor-based teaching and modern scientific research. So if you're interested in research and science, apply to Towson University by the time the new location opens in 2022. All right, now I have a challenge for the week. Share this episode with three students if you want them to do well on their exams. Now on to the news fix. So last week, I came across an article titled, Dr. Katz List, Five Colleges with Fun Finals Week Traditions. We all know finals can be stressful, hectic, chaotic, and maybe overwhelming. Well, if you attend one of these five universities that I'm about to mention, you may feel a little more at ease. Number one, Carleton College in Northfield, Minnesota. At Carleton College at 10 p.m. the night before finals start, all students let out a collective primal scream. They lean out windows, stand in hallways, and gather outside to scream at the top of their lungs and let out all their final anguish and despair. After the scream is over, students go back to studying. Number two, Pomona College in Claremont, California. 
1987, Pomona College decided to start a death by chocolate event on the last day of classes each fall semester. One of the campus centers is transformed into a chocolate wonderland with chocolate fondue fountains, chocolate covered fruits, pretzels, graham crackers, and more as far as the eye can see. Number three. University of North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina. At UNGC, in the days leading up to finals, students place apples and other offerings for good luck at the statue of Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom. Number four, Illinois State University in Normal, Illinois. Just before final exams, students at ISU shake off anything that is weighing them down at a huge dance party known as Club Milner. It's a 10-minute dance fest outside of the library. And number five, Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. At Yale, first year students get to enjoy a grand dinner with classmates in dining halls decorated with lights, ice sculptures, and a plethora of food. The Ivy League University also offers a festival with music and games. These five colleges and universities are not the only ones that offer final exam relief. Check out the festivities at Columbia University, UCLA, Menlo College, and many others. You can get more info about these institutions on ivywise.com in an article titled Dr. Katz List, Five Colleges with Fun Finals Week Traditions. This link and other sources from today's episode will be in our description box on anchor.fm slash schoolfinesse. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at schoolfinessepod and on Twitter and Facebook at schoolfinesse. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share with a friend so you both can succeed together. Always remember, tune in every Monday morning for a new tip on how you can finesse your way through school. Until next time, I'm your host, Amen, signing off.